Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Hefeweizen. This one is called Turm Heaven Hefeweizen and it comes in this um, NRW bottle shape as you can see, which is a quite popular bottle shape for many uh, uh, German breweries. And here is the top cap, no back label, and here is the top label, and here is the main label. Really, really beautiful looking label in my opinion. One of the actually best looking labels that I've had on the channel in my opinion. Turm Heaven Hefeweizen. And uh, I'm gonna give you some interesting information about this brewery. First of all, it was brewed by the Weiss Rössel brewery in Franconia. And I've been reviewing the Weiss Rössel Urhel before on the channel. And uh, yeah, it was a, a label that that brewery was owned by. And uh, after that, it uh, was continued to brew by uh, Brauerei Kaiser in Neuhaus, the brewery that also is brewing uh, Weltensteiner, uh, which I've been reviewing before. I've been reviewing Weltensteiner before. So I've been reviewing from Kaiser Neuhaus Brauerei uh, on the channel before. Feel free to check out that it was the first beer that I did review uh, from that brewery, the Weltenstein of Festbier. So this one is today also brewed by uh, Kaiso uh, Boy in Neuhaus. And uh, I'm happy with it because it looks so nice on the label. I mean, take a look at it, how beautiful it looks like. Hefeweizen, Turmhaven, beautiful Bavarian picture on the, um, on the label. So it's gonna look nice into my collection of, of um, bottles. But let's open up the bottle to begin with. Like that, with the crown cap, and pour it up into the um, to the um, Weissbier glass, of course. Now I'm um, I did create more foam than I expected, so uh, a little bit of a, of a failure, maybe. But of course, I my goal was to show how to pour up a Weissbier in a decent way. I'm pouring it up sometimes in stages when I'm not succeeding with the, with the real uh, pouring that I want to achieve on a ice peel. Um, but uh, in the end it should look like, like this, with a foam above the edge of the glass. But since it's quite much left in the bottle and I have to pour it up in stages. Uh, of course I really really like Bavarian ice peels, like the banana and cloves. Uh, aroma of them and they are very, very special in my opinion, they have a special heart in my special place in my heart and they're really longing back to Bavaria when I when I enjoy Bavarian Hefeweizen. Let's take a close up look at the label once again, Turmhel and Hefeweizen looking really really beautiful in my opinion. Um, so of course you need to have a, a Weissbier glass when you uh, pour up a Weissbier. Also rinse the glass, use only cold water, rinse it, don't dry it afterwards. And of course, no chemicals, just rinse it with cold water. And um, yeah, as I did show you in the beginning, uh, hold the glass in an angle, 45 degree angle, and uh, let the beer, beer, beer be poured up very uh, slow and nice and gently into the glass. And then you can start to build up foam head. And then uh, you stop, and the, uh, as I'm gonna show you a swirl bottle, and uh, then you can pour up the rest, so you pick up the well tasting wheat that has been continuing to yeast in the bottle. That's of course uh, something um, that I'm gonna show to you how to do. Maybe we can try to do that already, like this. Say like one finger at the very bottom of the bottle to uh, pick it up. You can do like this for example, and then you can pour it up like this. And then we have it all into the glass, and this is how it should look like, in my opinion. Uh, with um, a Bavarian Hefeweizen, as you can look, see a big white foam crown. So let's give it a try, the Turmhaven Hefeweizen. Prost! Yeah, I really, every time I I enjoy Hefeweizen and I understand why it's so appreciated in Bavaria because its taste is something very very special and really really something that is stuck in with me and make me, making it, me realize that it's maybe my favorite beer so actually um, the fruitiness, the freshness is there and it's so I'm so amazed that there's so much 
to do within the purity law that uh, the beer loving Germans can do within the purity law. That's really something that I, I love so much. Uh, let's take a closer look at the label once again. I can't show it too many times to you. The beautiful look of the Tonhaun Höpweisen and the um, the information that is in Privat, uh, in Bayern Privat Gebraut. Alcohol content 5.2% uh, volume, Vertrieb, Weiss, Rüssel, Breu, Eltmann, Bavaria, uh, Germany. And um, Zutaten, Wasser, Weiße Malz, Gerste Malz, Hopfen, Hefe. That's the information on the bottle, the beautiful looking bottle. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, Weiss, Rüssel, Breu, 97483 Eltmann Bavaria. Also, some uh, information from the uh, 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 from a website that I found uh, about the um, Tormhavn brand. Well, that's enough for now. We're all at the Bakken Festival Beers. Their usual taste excellent and full, full body stronger in alcohol and often also in taste, but they probably do not make up the majority of beer produced and sold. At least if you look into the drinks markets, there is a type of beer that always everywhere around, but is uh, which usually usually completely ignored in the press, uh, in the beer books or blogs like this. It's the sheep beer, and I'm not talking about the Oettinger and this function as a downward price driver, because Oettinger only pulls through what everyone is doing consistently and publicly as its market strategy. But there is hardly a brewery with slightly higher output today that does not have its own sheep line. However, this is rarely communicated openly. There are trading or sales companies on the labels, but hardly corresponding breweries. In the case of today's Turmherren Urel, the former Weiss Rösselboy in Rossstadt uh, Eltmann, is the sales company. It was founded in uh, 1744, taken over by Kaiserboy from Neuhaus in 1989, and the brewery was finally shut down in 2001. Since then, uh, Weiss Rössel and the Turmherren beers have been produced by Kaiserboy. At the latter can be found in the little money in uh, many beverage uh, stores and supermarkets. Uh, even where the more expensive and more valuable Weltenstein beers cannot be found. And uh, from uh, the Wikipedia I can read the following about Kaiser Boy in Neuhaus under Pegnitz. It's the largest brewery in the district of Nürnbergerland in Bavaria, Germany. Uh, the private brewery was founded in 1929. The annual output rose uh, from 900 hectares in 1939 to 10,000 hectares in 1960. And, uh, 100,000 hectares in 1979 and 200,000 hectares in 2008. The new modern brewery was built in 1991 and has a capacity of 500,000 hectares. Large consumer customers are German discounter and food markets, but they are recently starting exporting to other uh, European Union countries and the US. The company has expanded its productive, uh, product base to include rot beers and the Focade brand lemonade, Sanskrit of course. Really interesting history about this Turmherren Brauerei. So I hope you like my reviews and see you again in the next Bavarian beer review.